Good morning friends, I'm sitting here in my balcony just kind of enjoying the nice weather. It's beautiful out today. Maybe a little bit hot, not sure yet. Genuinely struggling to keep my eyes open. <laughs> also, Teddy wants to come out, I can hear him screaming. Today I'm going to be going with Katie and Sarah, two of my friends who I'm sure you've seen on my channel before, to this treehouse cafe. It's in Hiro and I've actually been before and the food is really good as well. It's ranked like one of the top Tokyo or even Japan cafes. I actually don't know which one it was. and also don't know who did the rankings. I don't know how accurate that is, but I have been. It's beautiful. There's like a flower shop at the bottom and they have really yummy food. The thing is last time I had to wait quite a long time, so I'm not sure how that's gonna go, but they have a tree house out at the front, which is like so cute and so fun. So that is going to be our day. When it's hot like this, I never wanna stay inside. I don't even care what it is. Like I just wanna go out and do something. So this is one of those days where I take you with me on a very typical warm day off in Japan, for me at least. Okay, look. <laughs> So I found Katie and Sarah who are acting like who's acting like I'm following them. <laughs> and we are here now at Le, Le Grand what, what Le Grand Orbe. How do you say it? Le Grand Harvest. Horrible. <laughs> not even close. And it's so cute. And it looks like it's not busy today. Last time I came there was a queue out the door. So that's really lucky. So as you enter the first floor. It's just a flower shop, but then you go up to the third floor to get to the cafe. Here on the second floor is where you can get into the tree house, which we will do later. How cute! You look so cute with this background. Ooh, love it. This hat is a lot. I can obviously wear it on the train. You didn't wear it on the train? No, I can't. Oh, really? I wouldn't want it on the train. That's great. I'm already like a nuisance. I don't want to be even more. <laughs> Let's look at the menu. Feels like a 90s photo album. This is what I had last time, I think. No, it's not. They have like a hummus plate thing, which I really am into because I love hummus. <laughs> yeah, they all come with bread, I think, a lot of them. Because I keep ordering hummus in Japan and they don't give you bread. And I'm yeah, and then it's like, what do you eat it with? <laughs> yeah. Chicken sandwich, chicken. Uh, oh, I didn't find the hummus thing. Maybe I wasn't looking properly. Wait, so Katie got another menu which does have the hummus, but mine doesn't have the hummus, and they're both different menus, and now I don't really understand what's going on. Do they have two menus? Either way, I definitely want this hummus and focaccia set. If they have it, I really hope they do, because it looks yummy. Oh, I feel really dumb. I found it on this one, though. I guess I wasn't looking properly. Hey, this is what I'm getting. It's hummus with deli sides and soup and focaccia bread. Is that how you pronounce it? Is it fo fo how do you pronounce that bread? Yeah, it's the wrong person. Focaccia? No, it's called a focaccia. A focaccia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, and I'll get like an iced tea. Yay! So basically, other than there being a tree house outside, this is a pretty normal cafe. I think quite cozy, very cute. Um, but I am very impressed with the menu because it is very varied and interesting, I think. The spelling mistake here is quite charming, I think. Katie got this. It's a potty sandwich. We tried to figure out what it was and we looked at the Japanese one and it said pate. I like these kind of spelling mistakes, so I think they're funny. I love how tea looks before you mix in the milk. Oh, yay, extra gum syrup. I always have so much sugar in my tea, it's like embarrassing. So it's going to be Sarah's boyfriend's Marius's birthday and he really specifically requested, one second, the t-shirt that I posted on my story yesterday. And so obviously I have to get it for him because duh. But in the midst of looking through these t-shirts, I found so many forklift operator ones for some reason. So this one says, the title forklift operator cannot be inherited nor purchased. This I have earned with my own blood, sweat and tears. Therefore I own it forever. And I just thought this was like a one-off thing. Like, oh, that was pretty funny. And then I kept looking. <laughs> forklift operator's prayer. And it's just like a long prayer. And then there's forklift operators are the hardest working people you have ever seen. We get up early and stay late. We're the last of a dying breed who build this world. And it just keeps going weird. 
<laughs> Never underestimate a man whose fourth grade education can fund his pyramid scheme to support his forklift addiction. I'm so tempted to just get Mario's like a series of forklift operator t-shirts. I think it would be so funny. So this is Sarah's chicken sandwich and here is my hummus plate. It looks so good. I like these kinds of dishes where there's like different things. Like I like eating a bunch of side dishes put together. I really like meals like that. I'm gonna try some of this hummus now. It looks homemade, which I'm quite impressed with. Because it's so easy to make hummus, but all these places don't make their own hummus. Anyway. Mm. This is yummy. I really recommend this place. Like, even outside of the treehouse, the food is actually really good. And then this is Katie's pate sandwich no. thing. Putty. Putty. Her putty sandwich, <laughs> which also looks really good. I like all the colors and stuff. I can taste that this has dried lemon in it, which is quite interesting. It's really yummy. I went to the loo, and the sink is so weird. You have to press on a foot pedal to make the water come out. Okay, we ate. Now let's go to the tree house. So exciting. So it's down here. Oh my gosh, let's check it out. Okay, now I'm gonna go frolic in the tree house. Okay, so here is like the main house part of the tree house, and if you come and look inside, there's like this little space that I guess you can like sit on. Oh, I think you can like sit here and have a drink. But oh, they said to us that we can only be like in the store. Like they said, like we are, we can only sit in the in-store seats, which implies that there are out-store seats. Yeah, mm. they opened the other customer terrace so. Yeah, so this must be the terrace But I guess like only if you're like one person or something. I don't know, but that's quite cute. Unfortunately, the view is not so great because there's like a construction zone, but otherwise very cute. And then down here they have some more seats. Go have a little seat, Sarah. Crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crunchy. It's crunchy. I think just dried leaves. Oh, like they're, they're like round, like um, nutshells. Yeah, nutshells. Yeah, kind of How cute. Is that seat much nicer with the view? No. No. <laughs> it's still the construction. Yeah, I think this might be. Oh, that might be the terrace. Yeah. Out there. I don't know why we weren't allowed to sit there. I guess because we were three people. Coming over. Yeah, <laughs> it's tragic. But it looks like they're building a bridge, so maybe when this is done, it'll be nice and cute. Are they building a bridge or are they restoring a bridge? I can't remember if this was here last year. This floor be rickety, look. Give us a little ricket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, it is actually built on a tree. I don't know how they did this. I mean, I guess people have been making tree houses for ages, but I'm pretty surprised. I'm getting some pictures. It's so fun getting pictures here. Okay, so the main thing I remember from this place is that it's really scary going down the stairs. Already my legs are shaking a little bit. Not shaking or anything, but it's very steep. Oh, that is a lot. That is very intense for me. Okay, so my leg is completely trembling while I'm taking pictures here. Um, but I'm gonna try to go down the stairs. So, that's happening. Do it for the ground. Doing it for the YouTube. Like and subscribe! <laughs> Famous awkward. Yep. Oh, it's really steep. Apparently it doesn't look as steep from below. But it yeah, is. from like in this video, it doesn't look that bad. It's bad. <laughs> Will she make it? Will this be her last video? Almost died at a tree house, not clickbait. Ooh. Don't know where my legs are supposed to go. <laughs> I'm just eating my back. Oh, I think I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna get like a splinter. Okay. Oh, Me, lady. <laughs> Thank you ever so much. <laughs> But yeah, this here is the Treehouse Cafe. It's very cute and very fun and the food is really good. So I actually recommend it. Okay, so now we're gonna go and get some gelato. I've been really passionate about gelato these days. I'll tell you a little bit more as we walk. It's like a half hour walk, but I really like going for walks on nice days. So this is just the 
It's just the mood I'm in today. It's finally hydrangea season. I don't know how to pronounce that, but look how pretty they are. Some of the prettiest flowers in Did Japan, you know I think. That? Yeah. Um, I think I've told you already, but yeah. the color is based on, on the acidity yes, the of the soil. the soil. Yeah, I actually do know that. I am a fellow hydrangea connoisseur, Enjoy as it. they say. <laughs> Enjoy it. I've been taking so many walks these days, especially when the weather's nice. It feels nice to live in such a walkable city. You can really walk from anywhere in Tokyo to anywhere in Tokyo. So I take full advantage of that. As you can see, these hydrangeas are more blue. So pretty. There's a lot of little cute stalls on the way. It's always fun to see what you'll find like on the way on your little walk. Okay, so my thing with gelato these days, so basically I get these hyper fixations on certain foods like on a regular basis and right now it's gelato. And I think it was started by the fact that I watched this video about like the history of ice cream. And I talked about how hard it used to be to get ice cream and how, because you know, you couldn't have ice back then, you didn't have freezers. And so that made me like really want ice cream because I started seeing it as this, like this special treat that like we can only get now. And so I've been really obsessed with going to like gelato places in particular. It wasn't like that interesting, but right now I'm really into gelato. I literally just Google like gelato and just go like the first place that the map tells me to. And so far so good. A lot of really good gelato places in Tokyo actually. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna get something fruity again today. Here we are. This place is so cute as well. We're having a now. Waiting for them to make it, but they have a bunch of like random Italian meats and cheeses and stuff. And also drinks. Shout out if you're Italian. We both got lemon and then Katie got pistachio and vanilla. Yay, it looks so yummy. It's got like little bits of lemon in it as well, like candy lemon maybe, I'm not sure. Yay! That's so yummy. Sweet but also nice and sour and tangy. Super refreshing, that is good. But yeah, we're just having a little walk around enjoying some gelato. Just what we needed. But yeah, I think that's pretty much where I'm going to go ahead and finish this video because we are just walking around. This is a pretty typical day off for me, I would say, especially in the springtime. It's just going to a nice cafe and walking around. <laughs> My day basically revolves around getting nice streets and getting some fresh air. So thank you guys ever so much for joining me. Please let me know in the comments, would you visit this treehouse cafe? I'd love to hear all your thoughts. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And thank you to my friends for joining me.